everybody, how are we doing? I've got a brand new setup here today. I thought I'd give it a try. We're right here with a blue van, man. How are we doing, Dave? We're all right, matey. How are you? I'm not too bad, not too bad. Um, I got the, I thought the sun was shining, so I'd set up in my little conservatory area. Uh, just finished work on it this year, and I thought, I'm going to sit out, give it a try. I don't blame you, mate. We've got no sun here in Loughborough whatsoever. No way. No way. No way. Yeah, that's right. No way at all. We've got nothing. <laughs> no way. Um, it's going to be nice tomorrow, I think, though, for the whole of the UK, so hopefully... It's about time. I'm yeah. fed up with it. It's depressing. It is. It is. It is depressing when the sun's not out. Um, Dave, you've been to Morrison's this week, and you've suggested a couple of beers, which I'm really pleased about. You're in the beer aisle, you're having a look, and you're, and you're kind of getting your suggestions going. What have you chosen for today? Uh, I've got this Inns and Gun. Yeah. Uh, I was holding it up to my own picture then, not the lens. Um, it's Gunpowder IPA. That looks okay, doesn't it? Yeah. I like the bottle. It's got the, the, I thought I picked the bottle up, and um, because you can actually feel the writing on it, I thought of Unky Steve. So, oh, of course. Of exactly. Of course. Yeah. Let him feel what he's drinking. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And it, of course, it's all the way over as well. Innocent Gun, Edinburgh. Yeah. Perfect. And then I've picked up this brew dog, Instamatic. I'm looking forward to this one, Dave, if I'm honest. Yeah. A lot of, lot of other um, people on Untapped and, and on YouTube have reviewed it. Um, it's been doing pretty well. It's, it's a new beer for them. A nice big bottle for 4.5%. Yes. That's what I thought. A nice proper bottle. Something you can get hold of. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? 660 milliliter. <laughs> uh, yeah. one, one quick thing before we crack a beer open. Um, you, you've been on Kansas City News Channel, have you? I have. Somehow I've made it. It's a uh, Kansas City. I think it's KCPT or something like that. And um, this the, the, the host, Nick Henning or somebody like that, actually follows my YouTube channel, see my review on the Kansas City Burger, yeah, and then they put it at the end of their uh, news bulletins. You know, like the funny bit that you get at the end of the news? Yeah. There's some fat bloke there with his blind uncles eating a McDonald's Kansas City Burger. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we, we've made We've got a few. Uh, I think if you look at their YouTube channel, their, their view, uh, viewing for their YouTube channel bits is like... Uh, 60 people, 200 people, 151 yeah. or something. You go to my bit and it's 1,400. That's <laughs> terrific. That's absolutely terrific. I mean, it just it just shows that people, they like a little bit of light-hearted kind of bit of fun these days. But we've yeah. got going on in the world. Um, what was I going to mention? I was going to mention something. Um, oh, should we get a beer? Should we get the innocent gun out first? Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, but... Sitting in the sun with no beer. <laughs> <laughs> right, there we go. So an IPA, it's 5.6% ABV. Would you like to know the story about Innocent Gun, Dave? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I like a story. So by accident... Um, a whiskey distillery wanted to make a whiskey which was about 40% proof uh, infused with beer like they wanted to use the hops and stuff from the beer and they made a right old mess of it this, this, this company and they decided to pour the way they put the beer through it they infused the beer through it they threw away a liquid that was about 6%. I don't know the whole process of, of, of how they did it, but when they infused the beer into it, it made the beer 6% ABV, and they actually used Tenant's Lager. Really? Yeah. So they, they all caged this beer, put the oak chips and stuff in, it, in this beer, um, and they were chipping it away. And one of the workers just had a glass, and he just, he just where they was kind of going into the drain, he just got some of this beer and he smelt it. He went, oh, oh, this, this, this smells terrific. So he, he tasted this liquid 
And of course, it was a complete fluke. The beer tasted incredible. It was an oaky, oak age, whiskey infused beer at about 6% ABV. So this beer, not this beer, but um, the, the brewery come across by accident. Type of thing. Right. So it's whiskey infused tenants. Tenants like really? Well, let's get supping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's have golden colour. Nice one finger head. Let's get the aroma. Oh, that smells very hot. Yeah, that smells, yeah, that smells just like a good, decent beer. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing fancy, just a nice, simple beer. A bit like me. <laughs> Wonderful. Lovely and sweet. And then, like, I don't know, like you're walking through picking up, picking roses and crumpling up the rose heads and, and smelling the rose. It's very floral, do you think? Yeah, it is a bit. Yeah, I've got me uh me me glass now that you told me to buy uh, the proper one. So brilliant. Are you find that you can get a really good one. Yes, I do. Yes, I can get a proper smell of it now. I, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Is that from that bar you've been going to? The, the... Uh, no, this is the Charmwood Brewery in Loughborough. Oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Cheers, Dave. Cheers, then. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, that is nice. Lovely. Floral, fruity. Um, I'm thinking like like blueberries or something. Yeah, there is some kind of dark fruit in there. There's yeah. some kind of... Yeah. And right on the back of the palate, you've got this kind of... This nice bitterness coming in there. Yeah, there is a bitterness there, isn't there? Like a dry bitterness kind of thing that... Yeah, I know what you mean. You've got it there, haven't you? Right on the back. Yeah. 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 It's making me want to go. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. My doorbell's going. Oh, the lights are flashing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to answer it or just tell them to sod off? My wife's, my wife's gone to answer the door. It's the kids coming back from their grandparents. But we got this setup. I'm out in the garden all the time, gardening and whatever. And um, we got this ring doorbell. You know the video doorbell? Yeah. We've attached it to all the Alexa lights around the house, and they all go off. It's like Christmas here <laughs> when the doorbell goes. <laughs> Can't you just give them a key? Can't you just give the kids a key? And that? <laughs> I should do. Yeah. <laughs> and this is this is the this is decent. It's barrel aged, so they. they They've put it in barrels, this one. Um, so bourbon, bourbon whiskey barrels. Are you a fan of bourbon, Dave? Oh, I'm, I love any kind of whiskey. Yeah. Any kind. I, I love them all. They're all great. I've, I did the... Uh, have I told you I've done the... Uh, Conor, uh, Conor McGregor's whiskey. That is nice. I do like that. Some people don't like it. I think they don't like it because they don't like him. Right. But um, I like it. I think it's great. What, what we do on YouTube... Teaches us to be impartial, doesn't it? It just yeah. break down the line. Yeah. Even going into like a McDonald's or something like that, we, we go in with a level head and we either like it or we don't like the product. It, it's that kind of... If you go in not liking McDonald's, there's no point in going in, is there? No, so, I mean, I don't like... I'm not a big fan of the... I, I do like McDonald's, but yeah. I just don't... Th I think the laser and... Um, I keep going in hoping one day that they will do something about it. But I love yeah. the chicken and I love the breakfast stuff they do. So, oh, I've seen your bacon roll video. That looked really tasty, yeah. the bacon roll. It, it was all right as such, but it was just... There, there was no thinking about a bacon roll, is there? <laughs> no, no, I suppose. And when, when you've got a, a man in the road on, the, on a lay-by tossing bacon on a... On, you know the, the roadside traps. Yeah, there's nothing quite like because they're constantly. Yeah, the fat's all caramelised. No, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's it. And I think you're just better off to go to them. I saw you had uh, your KFC thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I went to Bristol for that. You Bristol? Yeah, I can believe yeah. because we haven't got them round here either. They had them. They had them. Um, did it this somewhere in Birmingham? Um, 
Tav, is it Tavis? Not Tavis. Tavistock. Yeah, I think it's Tavist. I don't know. Uh, Tamworth. Oh yeah. How far is Tamworth from from and Burton? How far is that for you? It's it's far enough not to want to go to eat a piece of fake chicken. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just see the hype about it. Um, I thought KFC they're, they're well known for their chicken. They made a corn burger. And did you yeah. see them pesky kids throwing? Uh, they, they threw a coke at me. Is that what it was? At the very end, yeah, they threw a whole plastic paper cup of coke at me. It went all over the back of my leg. It's all, I tell you what, it's that Pratt who threw that milkshake the other day. They've started some, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Exactly, exactly that. And I was coming home thinking, I've come all this way to do this video of this, this burger, and they've ruined the video. And there's nothing worse, you know, when you put your time and your effort into something. And when I got home, I thought, I, I, my mood had changed. I thought, how can I turn this into my, to benefit me? And I just, I thought, I'm just going to put the attack beam type of thing. Yeah. It kind of worked. And then I thought, God, you've come at it with an hammer. <laughs> the chicken nuggets. Yeah. Mm. Um, so uh, for, for anybody who's new who's, who's tuned into this tonight, um, Dave, the Blue Van Man, incredible story on, on YouTube, really incredible story. Um, he's been picking up some, some fantastic... Um, support from all over the world, really, on, on your channel. And it's just going from strength to strength. And at this point, I want to say a massive thank you to Dave. Dave is on his YouTube channel today, has, has made a, a, a video to say, check out my channel, we're doing a live feed. And we've picked up 40 plus subscribers today. So I want to publicly, publicly say thank you very much, Dave, for your support. That's all right, mate. No worries at all. I enjoy doing this kind of thing. It's, uh, it's quite good if I can... I mean, True Geordie and uh, Lawrence and all their their team um, have helped me no end. And if I can help somebody a slight amount of what they've done for me, that that makes it all the worthwhile. I didn't come into this for fame and fortune and stuff. I just come in for it to do a bit of a laugh. And uh, but if I can help people along, I will do. And uh, this is this is a really good. We could if you watch the first live stream we did, it just clicked, didn't it? Sometimes in life. Yeah, it and uh, we have a we have a good laugh. We have a good yeah. laugh. It's like it's like I've got a mate called uh, Ian Riley, and um, he's he's emigrated to Australia. And if I didn't see him for months and weeks or years and whatever, yeah, as soon as I see him, we just start talking. Yeah. And it's it's a little bit like that with you. We I've never <laughs> start talking, just start talking yeah. rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, we I've I've talked about messages you previously. I'd like to I'd like to come up. Um, probably sometime over the late summer, um, July or August. I'd like yeah. to up and um, I see you've got a new van. And just to record a bit, just have a bit of fun, really. Go to the go to your local burger van, grab a couple of beers, just just yeah. make a couple of videos. That'd be really good. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll sort some of that. We go. Uh, we're going away, but uh, end of August will be great for me, mate. Definite. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. I come back. I, I'm going to. I'll be back from Sweden on the 25th. I've got a, a a beer festival in Sweden to go to, so that should be. Um, I yeah. should be over, I'll be over Poland by then. <laughs> <laughs> mm. and, and another thing, we'd have to do a beer festival. There's loads over the summer. Yeah, um, there must be something in in Birmingham or in between somewhere between Cardiff and Birmingham yeah. Opera. There must be something we can go and visit. Yeah, well, there's, there's normally some all, all over the place, aren't there, isn't there? So it's, um, yeah, we'll get some sorted and uh, it'll be all right. We'll have a laugh, do a few videos and post them out there and get I more viewers. You, I tell you what we could do. If we arrange a beer festival where we're going to meet and make some video, we could invite some of our followers to come and come and have a beer with us at the beer festival. Yeah. And it's a real lot of fun, that is, when yeah. somebody kind of pokes you and goes, I know you from YouTube. It's like, oh... <laughs> <laughs> it is a funny, isn't it? When you're sitting, when you're like in a shop and someone just comes up and starts talking to you, and you think you're a bit wary at first because, uh, you know, I wouldn't say I'm a celebrity and I wouldn't say I'm famous and such, but when somebody just does come up and start talking to you, it's amazing. they know you, they know you, but you haven't got a clue who you're talking to. No. And yeah. uh, it's funny, it's quite a weird feeling. 
Because, yeah, because they, they kind of like, you know, when somebody steps into your your space and your alarm bell stack went up, but that's only because they probably see our face on a, on a weekly yeah. basis. And then yeah. it becomes like, um, I don't know, a very familiar thing. And they come and put your hand and shake your hand. And it's like, oh, oh, how's it going? And you yeah. realize that, yeah, they must know me from YouTube. Yeah. How are you getting on with this beer, Dave? I'm loving it, mate. Oh, I really like this. I'll have to get some more of these Indian guns. It's... um. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. I'm not sure if this... Um, I'm not sure if this is based on tenants anymore. It look it, it tastes to me like it's an ale these days. Um, and they're talking about Cascade and Citra hops. Uh, pretty good stuff. I've, I've always had a bit of a soft spot for Innocent Gun. Um, yeah. They made a, a, a Canadian bourbon stout at about... 8% a few years ago, and they put it in a lovely little box. I think you might be able to pick it up in Waitrose, but that, if you see a little box of Innocent Gun in, in Waitrose, pick, pick yeah. it up, it's really good. Right, will do. So, good stuff. So, I'm just reading some of the messages coming through, that's all, because I've got my phone on as well down here. So. I tell you what, if you if you can control or have a chat on the live stream for a minute, because I, I can't, I haven't set mine up yet, so I'll set mine up while you're having a chat so uh, there's, there's just a lot of people saying hello and supermarket lager jacob wright supermarket lager or choice of choice i tell you what don't go anywhere near co-op lager it's like is it more pissy stronger it's pathetic is it really yeah it's awful uh bobby tucker he's saying you've got to love the fish and chips uh uh, Mark Espach, he's got Blue Bear Mango to a McDonald's and asked for a Big Mac and then swap out for the burgers of a quarter pounder and extra cheese and seasoning. See what a difference. All right. I got the comments up now. There we go. You got them, mate. Um, Simon and Blue Van Man do Glastonbury. <laughs> We're a bit old for Glastonbury. Yeah. It? I don't know. Can you be too old? Jeremy Corbyn were up there poncing around a couple of years ago, weren't he? he? Was, so, yeah. He was. Uh, what else we got? Uh, I. Oh, are we going to visit Wylam Brewery? Uh, Dave, how far is um, Newcastle to you? Oh, it's about three and a half hours. Oh, it's a long, long old way then. Long old way. Um, the Wylam Brewery, they, they produce some ter terrific beer. Terrific beer. I'd, I'd, I'd still suggest Cloudwater. Cloud water yeah, I've got to get that. I've got to get that. Um, somebody just said, where's the doodle? The doodle's asleep on the rug out the way. Um, yeah, I've got to try that uh, cloud water. I've got to order it and stuff. There's, there's stuff happening in my life, and I'm, I'm, I'm losing track. There's not enough days, and there's not enough hours in the week. So, Do you – that's something I'd possibly talk to you about, if, if you like. Do you find um, when things when – you, when you've got – your working life as well. And you're probably putting 30, 40 hours into YouTube as well. It's it's um it's a it's a lot. Like you said, there's not enough hours in the week. But with with the hours we put into YouTube, it doesn't feel like working, does it? It really doesn't. No, it don't, no. No, no. it don't. Um it, it takes me away from the family kind of thing doing this. I mean the wife's in there at the moment, she's watching uh, dainty dress dry. If anybody watches, if you need a girl to watch Dainty Dress Diaries. She's an Irish girl. She's absolutely brilliant. She has me pissing myself when she gets drunk. <laughs> so everybody, just tune into Dainty Dress Dra uh, Dainty Dress Diaries. Okay. She's ever so good. Um, she's on Instagram. She's on YouTube, but she's ever so funny. Um, yeah, it's like you, you're losing track. You, you should be with your family sometimes, but you're doing this because you want to keep this YouTube momentum going. So it's a bit hard, but uh, I've, I've, I've changed my job at work. Uh, I've stopped working nights. Yeah. I've, gone, I've gone and transferred myself into the warehouse. Okay. So uh, I am no longer doing nice. Get in there. Brilliant. I bet, I bet you found you got a lot more, a lot more time to, for, for YouTube now. Well, hopefully so. Once I've got a few things planned out and things that have got to be sorted, I'm hoping to have more time, yes. Yeah, so. Brilliant. And, yeah, you've got a new van. I like the new transit van. I yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, the, the old Scudo, it had done 150000 and there were a few things wrong on it, and it would have cost more than the van was worth. So yeah. we've uh, 
dug into the savings. People seem to think that um, the vans come from YouTube earnings. It, it's not. It's, that's come from hard work and savings that we've had. So uh, absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Well, it, of course, um, to change a to change a van for work purposes is, is you know you have to do it, don't you? Well, it, it, the the work, it's the, the the change of van is for uh, we have got some plans coming up, and uh, it's just carrying the dogs around. Really, it's just easier to put the dogs in a cage in the van. I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what we, you mean. we used to have a focus estate, and it wasn't big enough for him. Yeah. So it, it, we, what we do, we do little bits of upcycling. So we'll go and buy a chair, or we go and buy a sideboard, and it's just easier to put it in a van. So it's, in a van, and yeah. of course. My wife, she'd been driving now the last three years. Um, she got her own car, probably the same as your wife. And I'm, I, I've got a, a, a Renault Kangoo up there, my, my own van. And I, 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 I prefer to drive a van. I don't know why. I do. Know. I prefer yeah. a van. I can fit in a van. Yes, yes. I, I prefer, and especially with these de injected diesel engines these days, it's yeah. like a, I went from a Nissan Micra to, to the, this van. This van was faster. <laughs> yeah, I can believe it. I mean, our other the, the car, the family car, is a Mini Cooper, and uh, that does shift. But the van, I'm well happy with the van. It's brilliant. Absolutely love it. So yeah, yeah. Um, if we ever do Manchester, we're going to go to Track Brewing, Marble Brewing, and old old Nano Breweries Taps as well. That sounds okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, somebody's asked for the Doodle's real name. Um, I won't give the doodle's real name in case somebody sees him and calls him. And that ah. way, I won't give the real name. So, sorry, mate. Do you know, that's, sorry, that's Will. a fair comment. He could run across a road or... or yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it ain't. So, I won't... Uh, it's just a doodle. He, get, he gets called doodle anyway. So, yeah, yeah. that's the way it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, should we open the next beer? Yes, let's go for it. Brilliant. So, <laughs> would you like to introduce it, Dave? Well, we've got a brew dog. It's uh, Instamatic. Didn't uh, Five Star sing that? I don't know. I thought it had something to do with Instagram. It, I, I, I haven't really looked too much into it. Oh, that Systematic? Systematic. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I can't remember. I'm showing my age now. It's 4.5%. Uh, <laughs> it's a white Indian pale ale. What is a white Indian pale ale? Please tell me, do. Uh, they, they've, they've more than likely um, they've used a lot of light grains. Uh, a lot of, they call it crystal malt. So right, it's light, a crystal coloured malt rather than your darker malts. Um, a bit like that. I haven't got any innocent gun left. I drunk it, I was thirsty. But that innocent gun was that the malts were darker. Yes, it, it looked in, in more that. traditional beer, that didn't it? Look like something that your granddad would drink in the pub, absolutely, absolutely. Whereas this should, I'm, I'm taking a wild stab at it, it should be very light in colour. Let's go for it then, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Right. Oh, it is white, isn't it? Looks there like cider. Yeah, very light in colour. It's got a nice haze to it as well. Lovely. I think mine was about £2.57 a bottle. I haven't got a clue what mine was. I just picked it up and put it in yeah. the trunk. <laughs> it's not bad for, for the 660 bottle as well. We have to mention to the viewers, we've got a nice big bottle of beer here. That's grapefruit, isn't it? Yeah. I can smell that. <laughs> from Yeah, from a, from a distance. Yeah, from yeah, the other side yeah, of the yeah. garage. You can hold it here and get the grapefruit. You can, yeah. Very citrusy. Lovely, but I mean, perfect. I've still got this sun beaming down on me. This is just perfect. Four point five percent ABV. Slug it back. Refresh yourself after the hard day's work. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to shout June because she likes grapefruit. Okay. June. Yeah. Just come and try this grapefruit uh, beer. You haven't got to come on. She won't come on camera. No worries. No worries. Just try that, sweetheart. And see what you think. A woman's opinion here, mate. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, June. How are you doing? He says, how are you doing? I'm all right, thank you very much. Lovely, lovely. That really smells of grapefruit. Get it in your gob. What do you think to that? 
Be honest. I like it. It's very grapefruit. There you go. I knew she'd like that. It's grapefruit. <laughs> well, <thank you. laughs> Cheers. All right, check in with you. See you, June. See ya. <laughs> Brilliant. We've got June on the channel. Yeah, it was just growing all the while. Brilliant. Um, well, will your will your wife come onto your channel and do a little bit of a, a, a side by side with you? No, bit? she'll um, she won't come on the channel. The um, the thing is, there's some cruel people out there, and they'll try and find fault with anything. Yeah. Uh, but there's nothing to fault June with. But yeah. no doubt somebody will try and have a go and upset the apple cart. Uh, yeah. So, no, she won't. Come. She'll do that. She'll do shouting from the background and tell people I'm a fat bastard and stuff like that. But uh, she won't come on the screen. <laughs> I um, I suppose, you know, I tell, I tell you, we'll, we'll sip the beer first. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about the grapefruits and yeah. the, the orange peel. Really juicy. You know, the other one was a bit dry. This one's got the kind of the opposite. Yes, it, it doesn't leave that bitterness in the back of your throat, does it? It yeah, just... Yeah. You see, I like that one because because it's only the like I can only really taste the grapefruit. Yeah. I'm not really a fan of grapefruit, but because I can only taste the one, I like it. It's yeah, yeah. I really, I really like that. That's really juicy. It's really satisfying on the palate. Very drinkable. And that grapefruit, as you mentioned, it's not too. It's not too massive. It's not too. No. Yeah. There's a little bit of sweet malt. There's a little bit of bitterness. The balance. Sweetness, bitterness. That that works. A bit like sweet and sour chicken balls from the you know the sauce. Yeah. It's, it's, I, like, I like how it's yeah. cloudy as well. Is there a reason why it's cloudy or uh, it'll be unfiltered? Yeah. But there's um there's there's a massive a bit like what I was mentioning earlier with cloud water. The reason why they call themselves cloud water is that they, they produce cloudy water, cloudy beers. And right. There's been a massive. It's come from America, really. There's been a massive kind of shift towards making these cloudy beers. When you when you take something away from a beer like this, the only thing you're going to do with it is put it down the drain. And, right. And a lot of for years and years, probably the last sixty years, it all had to be about polished polished beer, really kind of clear beer that you buy in the pub. I, I, I've done it years, years and years ago. If anything was cloudy, you'd take it back, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. You would at our old pub, definitely. Yeah. You know, you'd hold it to the light. If it was cloudy, you'd give it back. But yeah. this day and age, there's a thinking that what they're taking away from that beer, because a beer is always naturally cloudy when it's brewed. If you take that away, you're taking away flavour. Yes, yeah. I know what you mean. The, the only thing is that my old pub, it used to be, uh, you'd take it back because it tasted of uh, cleaning fluid. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That, that's it. The, um, Where they hadn't flushed the pipes out and stuff, oh, and yeah. the landlord had told you to shut up. And like. <laughs> it's a bit It's a bit like what we were talking about earlier, between that burger van where they leave they leave the fat on the, yeah. whatever they call it, the grill pan. Yeah. They just throw more bacon on you just you just add in kind of flavour. Where there's yeah. probably in McDonald's is probably a a clean environment. Uh, what do they call it? Um, a, a, a a sterile environment. Yeah. Where, where it's perfectly clean and, and and you're not getting them juices. You're not getting the the bit of burnt ends or something like that. Yeah. It's like the, bacon on your bacon. You know exactly. It's, yeah, it's like the hairy bikers, didn't it? Because they used to do something where they continue to use the same baking fat to cook the roasties in oh, or amazing. something like that. And they wouldn't throw it away. They'd always keep the same, the, the same goose fat or the same oh. such and stuff because, and they're just adding to it all the while and creating it more. Yeah. So I know what you mean. Yes, you're dead right. My I don't know about you. We'll, we'll, I'll be quick on this. My grandfather used to have a pot and he used to put all of the, he used to call it dripping. He used to put all yes. the in a pot and then get some out with a knife. I, he used to put it on, on toast and stuff. Oh, bread. Yeah. Butter. Yeah. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. My granny Dory used to do the same. Might be an idea. That's a good idea, Dave. Maybe show <laughs> maybe do like nineteen forties, just after the war, what they used to do. You yeah. would throw nothing away, would they? No, make do and mend and everything's got a use and everything like that, isn't it? I know what you mean, yeah, yeah. They, they didn't throw anything away. And I tell you something else, there weren't no bloody diabetes or 
no, ADHD no. or bloody kids running around causing trouble in them days. No, so no. let's get back to the 40s. Yeah, exactly. Just after the war, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, did they call it like the 50s? That was uh, people could afford fish fingers and stuff then. Uh, That's it, yeah. A big kind of feel good factor in the country. Yeah. But um, yeah. I, I'll go back to it. I mean, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a funny conversation, but it's worth having. Um, do you find on YouTube 95, 97, 98 percent of the comments be absolutely lovely from, from from lovely people, and then you get one or two, and, and it's the same people over and over again. They they put the same bad comments. And what happens? Something something goes on in the brain. Instead of looking at the ninety eight percent of the good comments, you focus on on that bad two percent. Do, do do you find that? Do you know what? I must be weird because um, I, I did an interview with a lad. Some lads got in touch from it uh, a week ago or so, and um, I can't remember his channel, so please forgive me for, if you're watching, mate. Uh, but he's going to put it out in, on YouTube. Yeah. I think it's Game Force or something like that. Okay. And uh, anyway, and he asked me the same question, and I must be quite weird because that 2% who have a go at me, yeah, I quite I quite like. <laughs> <laughs> they, seem, they, they seem to they seem to think they're upsetting me and offending me, uh, and they're not. They're not offending me. Um, if they say anything about the family, I won't even reply. I'll just block them and delete them. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Because the family are not here. I put my head up to be. I'm here, though. Like, you shoot at me. I'm not bothered. Absolutely. You have a go at the family. I'll I'll delete you and that, and I don't yeah. really care. But you can take the piss out of me all you like, because what you're probably saying is probably what I'm thinking about myself. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, so does it does it bother you then having the? Um... It, 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 I suppose it, it used to, but it, it becomes part and parcel of being what we're doing on YouTube. I suppose, like you just said, we put our head on the block, don't we? We, we, we yeah. Well, I, I mean, I used to run the line, uh, the line for my local football team on yeah. a Saturday and on a Sunday morning. And uh, if you've run the line for a football team, yeah, you've had so much abuse, you, it just doesn't bother you. I've had it off my own teammates. Oh, you're yeah. fat bastard, you're offside. <laughs> it's like, and that kind of thing. So it just doesn't bother me. It really doesn't bother me. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Uh, so we get some of these comments in. Uh, a lot of people are really enjoying. Um, uh, oh, the, the, some of these. I, I got. I got a few things that I mentioned in, in most beer reviews. It, it's almost like programmed into me now. Uh, somebody said um, they, they they quoted me saying what I normally say. So what I normally do is. Um, yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the bottle. You end up. Not not becoming a robot, but you end up. Uh, I think it just becomes part of your reviewing process. Yeah, I must admit, I'm trying not to repeat myself now. Again, the trouble is, I do a McDonald's burger and I just repeat myself because I know what it's going to be. And, yeah. and people are saying, "Why are you reviewing it?" It's it's because what I do, and I'm just hoping for that one day it happens where it is good. But I know what you mean. You do tend to repeat yourself, and you have to try to reinvent yourself so you don't get boring. Absolutely, absolutely that. Absolutely. And uh, how was Poland? Poland was good. Um, uh, Hi, Jamie Fisher. <laughs> Brad Man is saying, I'm in work. I wish I was having an IPA. Uh, how was Wrocław? How was Poland? Re really good. I enjoyed Poland. Um, drunk from 11 o'clock in the morning to, to 11, 12 o'clock at night for three or four days. And I come away in a complete week. First time in ages, I think I just couldn't even put the beer to my nose. I, was, mm. I, I need a week off. <laughs> <laughs> my little was screaming at me. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Yeah. You see that one there, John Harding. Can you tell my work colleague, Brian, we're on a break to pull his finger out? Come on, Brian. We've got one lad like that at work called Babs. He's bone idle half the time. Is he? <laughs> yeah. You find, no. you find he's probably he's probably salt of the earth, probably one of your best mates in work. You just got to carry him along a bit, haven't you? <laughs> carry him is about twenty three stone. <laughs> uh, uh, Dylan O'Leary, what does Bluvaman do as a job? I heard he does double glazing, which I do. So do you, you want to mention it? I um I used to do double glazing. I used to work with my dad, but yeah. um, 
I no longer do that silly game. I got fed up with going in people's houses and going through the uh, wife, the lady's underwear. Yeah. As, as blokes do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. I didn't really. Uh, but now I make plastic. Bra sizes. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. How much size is she? <laughs> now no, I make plastic, so uh, that's it. Perfect. Oh, I, um, I, I, I had a few days as an agency about five, six years ago where I, I worked at, it was a German company, and they retooled an, um, an old war bullet machine. They were making bullets. And this, they used to send this tube of plastic down, so it was that gauge. You could take something like a quarter of a mil off it. Really? Yeah, and you just used to feed this plastic. That's all it was all day long. I did about three days. I thought, that's enough for me. I, I, I <laughs> had a half hour. I was completely bored. Yeah. I set the machine up just to take a, a small bit of this plastic off. You were just pushing plastic through a machine all day long. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Now, where I work, it, it, we are, you have got to be a little bit tuned in. You have actually got to be... I mean, if you're on the back of a plant, you're not just running the one, you're sometimes running three. So it's, you have to be aware of what you're doing. It's quite good. I enjoy it. I do enjoy it. But, uh, but I'm packing that into work in the warehouse now. So oh, we, uh, There's a comment by Dylan O'Reilly. Can I have a read of that one? I've seen it. Where you go, Nick, a sniffing too. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, I worked in a house once, right? I worked in a house once and... Um, uh, we just fitted these bedroom windows, me and my dad, and um, I was tidying up, getting the dust sheet up, and as I looked up, uh, the people who lived there had put sellotape on the drawers. Oh. So, the, so I bet they thought, if you go through the drawers, it'll pull the sellotape away. I, I think, what was that? Was there a film that somebody did that? They stuck a hair on a drawer, and if the hair had come away, they knew somebody had been in the room and found the, and been in the drawers. So, oh, yeah, no. it was quite funny. So, lads, if you are doing this thing, Make sure they've got no little bits set up on the uh, drawers to uh, catch you out. <laughs> when the fit is unite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, have I tried uh, Stone and Wood Pacific Ale yet? That's an Australian beer. It's um, quite difficult to get hold of, to be honest. Um, and Dylan saying, well, advice well taken from, from the Blue Band Man. All right, cool, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, what have you got planned, Dave, over the next few days for your channel? Um, um, you I've, I've got a few things. Um, I've got uh, something called Ugly Water I want to review. I finally found <laughs> some. Um, okay. it's, uh, it's just water that's flavoured. I've got to take my kid into Leicester to... Uh, she's having her nails done. She's got a prom coming up, so uh, that's going to cost me some money. Brilliant. But no, it ain't brilliant at all. I'm spending money. I don't like doing bread. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's it. And then I'm at work all Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Perfect. Why do you keep saying brilliant? I've got to go work all weekend. What's brilliant about it? <laughs> <laughs> it's that same thing, is it? It's that same yeah, thing. Yeah, it is. Just spitting stuff out, you know. Yeah. Uh, Spending money and working, brilliant. No, it isn't. No, it's not brilliant. No, <laughs> you may be all red now, Dave. <laughs> 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 what else have you got going through? Um, Black Fire Tequila. Don't know about that. You heard of that one? No, I ain't heard of that. I'll have a look though. Well, I tell you what, I have got that we might have to review. Uh, Wilderness IPA. Ah, yeah, I think that was in Morrison's. Yes, it was. I put, I just picked it up on the off chance. Ah, I haven't. I didn't pick one. I didn't. Well, if you can get one of them for next time, this will yeah. go up here on my shelf. Brilliant. And we'll get it and tell the people out there, um, all seventy six of them. Yes, <laughs> get one, and we can all try it together. Brilliant. Um. I'll, I'll ask a question for the audience. Is it anybody who's having a drink along with us? Did anybody have time to nip down to the Morrisons and pick up some beer, drink the same beer as us? If so, are you getting the same kind of flavours me and Dave are getting? That's yeah. a nice question for you guys. Um, yeah, we left, I left it a bit late, didn't I, really? I didn't realise I'd get time tonight to do this, so my no, apologies. Perfect. Again, I'd like 
brilliant for, for, for the for the shout out, Dave. Well, what do you? My Morrison's has just had a massive fit out, and they've moved the beer aisle to the other end of the store, towards the back of the store. Um, what do you? Here's a question for you, Dave. What do you think about the ever revolving styles of beer that are turning up in Morrison's? It's great. I, I, think. I quite like it, but it's like when you you say that there's a, these get these, these are the ones I've not tried or whatever. Um, they never seem to have the same what you've got in Wales. I don't know what the bloody hell's going off. Yeah, because that, that beer there, which you've got, the Allendale, is it Allendale? I think they're from North Yorkshire. Yeah, Wilderness. Uh, yeah, Allendale, Wilderness Allendale. So, I don't know. I think they're a North Yorkshire company. So, for them to kind of like pass Leicester and carry on bringing them down to... To, to Wales is is slightly yeah. strange, isn't it? Hexham, where the bloody hell's Hexham? Hexham? Somebody tell us. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, somebody can't. Where, where are Allendale and, and where's Hexham in the UK? Um, yeah, what we'll have to do is do some of the classics as well. They they must have. We've got Welsh bottles in the in the Barry store. They must got to say hello to Ryan. Hello, Ryan. <laughs> Oh, Northern Monks Call Rangers in Morrison's. That'd be good to do. They're very good. Um, oh, somebody's saying, I think it's in Stratford upon Avon. Right out. Oh, I am just. Put, no, sorry, sorry. Just had a purity long thought I'd be from Stratford upon Avon. Oh, it's up, some Ollie saying that they're up north somewhere. Up north. So up north. Up north. So you north must have local, local beers in, from, from local brews in Leicester or the Midlands yeah. in, in your Morrison's. Uh, do you know what, right? The, it's all of this IPA stuff that it's not really a local brewery kind of thing. It's all um, everywhere else. I don't know. It's Yeah. I know what you mean, though. We don't seem to be catering around the local area, but uh, hmm. which is sad, which is sad, really. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I'm just wondering, anything... Anything new coming about for us? Although, what did you think of the um, the white chocolate cocoa pops? I managed uh, to get a box yesterday morning. Yeah, my missus said you'd done the review. Um, yeah. And uh, I wasn't that keen on them, to be fair. I think they're a bit gimmicky. I don't know. I didn't, the, what happened were, I, I like a lot of milk on my cereal. Yeah. And... Um, I, I flooded it with milk. And then the wife had hers, but she doesn't put a lot of milk on. She said that you could taste it more without all the milk. Right. So I probably drowned it on. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know. I weren't too keen on them. We've just, the wife just made some uh, Rice Krispie cakes out of them. So. Ah, perfect, perfect. I mentioned it, it was a bit like, as you just mentioned, Rice Krispies. With a bit it of is just Rice Krispies, yeah. That's See, yeah I'm, I'm surprised the race, racist gang ain't been on saying that we've, Made on white cr rogue, uh, cr uh, white cho uh, chocolate stuff. So um, yeah. you never know, dear. I'm sure somebody will find some unpolitically correctness out of it. So I, I mentioned um, the thirty percent less sugar was probably something to do with the sugar tax. Could have been, could have been. Because I just put the sugar back on, didn't I? <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Um. Oh, Neon Raptor are close to Leicester. They're a really good brewery, Dave. That's by Jager. Where's that? Uh, Neon oh, but, yeah. <clears throat> oh, no, I'm not sure, mate. Uh, I'll have to look that up, dude. Has anybody tried any Finnish Finland gins? Cairo Napau or Arctic Blue? No, I haven't. I haven't. No, we'll, we'll look them out. It's one of them things, isn't it? Uh I've got a mate the other night, he went out, uh, uh, one lad had been made redundant at work, he took the voluntary redundancy, so we went over and said like goodbye to him, and uh, one of the lads, uh, he went out, didn't go back home, <laughs> he got drunk on gin in a pub somewhere, I don't think his missus are happy. <laughs> he stayed out for the night, did he? Yeah, and, uh, naughty lad, naughty, naughty boy. Oh, uh, i, I, I got to just come up with a question now. With your... Um, channel grow at a really nice pace do you have plans to do like a, a, a blue van man tour Could um, it been mentioned, um, yeah we, it has been mentioned uh it is something i'd like to do to be fair 
yeah. I want to get the van all sorted. I mean, the van's only done 62,000, so it should have a lot of life in it. Yeah. Uh, and I would like to um, do a bit of a tour, yeah. Uh, when we go away on holiday and stuff like that, I think I might uh, take advantage of it and review other little places and that kind of thing, yeah, so... That'd be amazing. That'd be yeah. amazing. Yeah, of course. Come to Wales, try some Wales. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking, come to Wales. I tell you what, last time I came to Wales, right, I used to drive a delivery van. I used to deliver hard-boiled eggs and sandwich fillings. Really? And, um, yeah, I used to have to come over the bridge. Uh, I'd do a delivery in Bristol, then come over the bridge. And then as soon as I walked in, I used to wear an England football drill top. As soon yeah. as I walk in, they all speak bloody well. Uh, it's true. <laughs> I don't speak a word of Welsh, so I, I, I can say good morning, which I think is Borodá. That's about it. I don't yeah. speak any Welsh. I'm in the kind of within 45 minutes of the bridge, so I'm. Yeah, I, mean, I only had to go into just inside Wales, but truth, as soon as they saw my oh. England drill top, that. <laughs> I have to wear it. I wear it on purpose. Really rude. Uh, the bridge is free now, Dave. Did you know that? Is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Good. I'll it's come great. back. I why have they decided that then? Uh, it must have been in the car. I can't imagine the Conservatives wanted to give give the bridge toll away for free. So it must have been <laughs> in the original contract where they built the new bridge. It would be like 15 years of a charge. And then well, as soon as it paid for itself, they, they'd let it go for free. All oh, right. Didn't know that. Oh, it's well, good. It's good, it? that was it's good because it's creating tourism, isn't it? People to go in and out of Wales and England and that. It's good. It's, it's good for the local area. So Fantastic. Yeah, I, I thought, let's go get a burger in uh, KFC. I'll yeah. see you on the bridge. Yeah, too right. Very good. Oh, good. I didn't know about that. How long's that been free? Uh, December. December. Oh, uh, see you next. David Garcia, $2. Thank you for the donation. Really, really fantastic. Thank you very, very much. Um, do you well do, done, Dave. Have you done many live streams, Dave? Um, yeah, I've done quite. I've done about four or five, I think. Uh, I've got more lined up, but um, I, I, I don't know what to go on about sometimes. On a live stream, um, hey, oh, he's doing it. Look, shout out to Ryan's mum. Now, when they start putting these up, right, this yeah. is when you have to be careful because they put in stupid bloody names and you end up, the next thing you know, you've got the KKK standing outside your house wanting to join you because <laughs> you've, oh. you've said something and you don't realise what you've said. That's really it. Shout out to the boys and Ryan's. Hello, Ryan's mum. There we are. Hello, Ryan's mum. There Thank you go. You much, Aaron. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, I've done a few live ones and I will do more in the future, but it's just knowing what to do to keep people interested. You know what I mean? How do you... What's your format? Do you, I haven't had a chance to tune in. I apologise. That's uh, all right. No worries, man. Do, do you do food? Do you do, you do other things? Uh, the other food? week I did one. Uh, well, the other week I did one on uh, Conor McGregor's whiskey, and I went, right, I want to view – people have been asking me to review Conor McGregor's uh, whiskey, but I'm not going to – bloody hell. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wilson, thank you very much. I think that might be Swedish. Which is probably worth about two and a half quid. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not. I, I, um, could, do you mind if I ask Eric? Uh, sec fifty. What does that? What's that in British pounds? Sorry for my ignorance, but thank you very much for the tip. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, cheers, yeah. Rothenberg in Sweden. I'll be in Sweden, Eric. If you want to come and see me in August for the Brewski Beer Festival. <laughs> you make yourself sound like Robbie Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, says it's, it's about four pound twenty five. That's brilliant. Four pound twenty five. Thank you very much. Perfect. That's good stuff. Um, yeah. yeah, I did a uh, the Conor McGregor whiskey, and I says, right, I want Conor McGregor whiskey. People are asking me to review it. I'm not paying for it, okay. and that's that's how I did that one. Uh, the other week I did a uh, I bought a Turkish uh, takeaway. I sat there and at that, and every there were a few people who had done the same. Bought a Turkish takeaway, and we just sat there chatting. Brilliant, brilliant. What was that like? Kebab meat and kebab? Yeah, just, yeah. I had a mixed kebab kind of thing, rice and salad, and I had a beer with it. I had a Charlwood Brewery beer. Uh, I reviewed the takeaway and I reviewed the beer, and people were just asking me questions. And it was brilliant. great. There was one lad there called Jamie, and I, I his granddad used to manage my local football team. Ah, right. Okay. After Chadwick, and it was just great. And uh, yeah, because uh, 
It was lovely. So you've just got to think of a, a thing to do, mate, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a little bit of a plan in place, which you've obviously done with the, the Turkish takeaway. And of course, it fills out a lot of time, doesn't it? it that's yeah. Fantastic. Um, that, it seems like it, and when you get that interaction back, it's not like you're sitting in front of a camera just having to kind of like talk about a certain product. It feels like you're having a conversation with people, a real yeah. conversation. What, you, what I tend to find was, though, some of the questions are like, is it Celtic or Rangers, Villa yeah, or yeah. Birmingham, uh, and that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, and I don't want to get into that football kind of thing. No doubt somebody will put, here. look, Swansea or Cardiff. I'm, I'm a Cardiff, Cardiff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll go Swansea then to level it up. All right, mate. Okay, 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had um, a, a player called Will Vokes about to sign for us. Um, yeah. it was Cardiff, the website on Cardiff City actually announced it and he went to Swansea at the last minute. Really? Yesterday, yeah, yeah, he went to Swansea. That ain't very, that's not very good, is it? He that's not very good at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I mean, it's nice. We, we, we've drunk the beer. Oh, I didn't realise I had so much. Um, what, what's your... Finishing thoughts on this particular beer before we move on, Dave. Uh, I quite like it, mate. I really do like it. I'm not normally. I've, I've, I did a lot of citrus drinks, and um, I got a bit fed up with them. Yeah. I've knocked them on the head for a bit. But since I've been talking with you and doing this, I've come back round to them. To be fair, it's uh, you. You've got to open your mind and think about these things, haven't you? And not just be one dimensional. So yeah, I'm, I've tried this, and I quite like it. To be fair. Um, I will get this again, and uh, me and June will no doubt be sitting there watching Killing Eve or some other kind of stuff yeah. like that, supping on this. Brilliant, and um, yeah, it's just it's just perfect. We've been having a chat. I've nearly drunk my bottle. It's just an easy going drink with your mates in the sunshine. What, what more could you possibly want from life? Eh? It's lovely. Can't. Uh, just drink and be merry. Yeah. Um. Just a quick one. How long have you got, Dave? It's coming up to 8 o'clock. Uh, I've got about another five or six minutes, mate. Uh, you know. Okay. So, with Dave having five or six minutes, if you've got any last-minute comments for Dave, um, check your comments over. Yeah, Tommy McAllister, he wants a shout-out uh, in Scotland. Loves our videos. There we go. Thank you very Dan much. Dan Harrison, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one. I got one. I, I always let him go. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to show it for everybody else. Um, I just show, I never, you should give you an option to block bad comments or well, with bad language. I always let him go. It's somebody's opinion. I will read it. If, I can't even make head to tail of that. Aaron Smith, thank you very much. Uh, somebody touching my spaghetti. <laughs> Adam Zebra wants to. Uh, what do you think of Leicester's title win? What would What would you think? I thought of Leicester's title win. <laughs> I was working in Asda at the time, and even the store manager in Asda, we'd all be talking about Leicester. Um, who was so well, we wanted to, you know, pip Manchester City. Yeah, title. well, we didn't pip them. I think we did them by about ten points in the end. Yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. And it was Arsenal anyway. They beat Arsenal, didn't they? We. Was it um, Arsenal who finished second that year? Was it? Yeah, because it was a two-horse race, wasn't it, between Leicester and Arsenal, and Spurs came third. Ah, right. I thought it was... Man I don't know. Man City must have had a really bad year that year. Yeah, they did. They had an awful year. Right, OK, OK. Um, yeah, so I was with, even the store manager would, would, would come and join our table and, and, and talk to us about Leicester City. It was a, it was a hot topic from probably... March onwards, when people thought they could actually do this, you know, they could actually win, the, and they went on and won it. So we were all applauding them down here in Wales. So yeah, yeah. I think when Le Leicester played away at Boxing Day, uh, 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 Leicester played away at Liverpool on Boxing Day, and they got beat. And um, even then, there was still the feeling, there was still the atmosphere around Leicester and Loughborough and all the surrounding areas that they could still do it. It was, yeah. You know, it's like you were thinking, oh, here we go, this is it now, Christmas has come, it's going to go downhill. But no, 
I was still shitting my pants over it, right? <laughs> but everybody, you could still feel that it was just coming together. It was like all the stars and everything, and the planets were aligned and everything. It was just for Ranieri to come in and do that and Vardy to be knocking in them goals. It was just unreal. Amazing. The, 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 it just, and then it went into April, and then it was almost, and then you were thinking, will they do it? Will they trip up? Will they do it? And then they just, they just won that it was terrific. They just carried on going, didn't they? So it was just unreal. So. And now you've got uh, Brendan Rogers, ex Swansea City manager. He's going to do really well, I think. I hope so. I hope, um, I hope uh, Maguire doesn't leave. I'd, I'd love everybody to stay. Yeah. For one season, uh, j- just see what we can do. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't blame anybody for leaving. I don't mm. blame anybody because to go to a club like Manchester City and play for them, um, I can't blame him. Honestly, can't blame anybody. But yeah. it would just be nice to have us all to get, have them all to, I say us, have us all to together to for one more season. Um, Adam Zebra saying Vardy to Man City confirmed. Or- yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah he ain't good. Oh. Is he 30? Was he 32? 30? I think he's 31 at the moment. He's 32 this year. He's, um, he's not going anywhere. I, I, I think he lives He lives near where we work, and uh, I, I don't think he's going anywhere. So. No, no. No. Uh, he's, he probably, what was it, 2016? Was he, he must have been about 28, 29 when he was back. Yeah. In. He must have just hit that. Yeah. Fine. That, that yeah. Is absolute no. best. Hopefully, hopefully Rogers will play him in the right position now. Claude uh, Puel was just, I don't know what the hell he was on. He, he must have been sniffing glue half the time. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry to interrupt you. Um, Dave, I've got some. J- Jacob Wright is saying, evening, gents, myself and a couple of mates having a bottle shared in December in our new craft beer shed. More than welcome to join us. Uh, we could make this happen. Well, where, where's, where do you live, though, Jacob? They're going to say somewhere like the Isle of Isle of Sky. Well, somewhere... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> the Isle of Man, or something like yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> Ascension Island. So... Yeah, let us know. Let us know what it is, uh, Jacob. Um, uh, if it's Cardiff, Rele- uh, Jamie Ham, he wants to know about uh, Cardiff's relegation. Uh, no, I don't think they deserved it. I think it was one of the most disgusting pieces of refereeing against Cardiff yeah. ever. And I'm not just saying that because you're sitting there yeah. in your shorts and that. I think the way Cardiff, the officials treated some of their matches was just a downright disgrace. I think it was they didn't have a fighting chance because they were playing against the teams and the referees. And I think it was disgusting. Yeah. It's... To get relegated, Leicester got relegated a few years ago when uh, Mickey Adams was in charge. Yeah. And uh, when they went down, the whole of the stadium stood up and clapped because Leicester tried. They tried. They never gave up fighting. Yeah. But Cardiff went down fighting, but against the officials. And it was yeah. disgusting. The absolute disgusting. Three points. Oh, it was so, I mean. Exactly. And the thing is, it wasn't the three points. It's the three points that takes you into the next games. It builds your momentum up. It gives you the confidence. And Cardiff had that taken away from them through shit refereeing. And there's Absolutely. nothing you can do about it now. Absolutely. And he said, Warnock, he said he's going to do one more season. He's going to try and get him back up to the Premier League. He said he will not have another year in the Premier League. No, I don't blame him. Because all he does, he gets knocked down. He just gets booted. They might as well just stake him out on the grass and just kick him in the nuts. Because yeah. he gets it every time. It's a real shame. He... He's won a record eight promotions. Yeah. But he's never, and it's such a shit, this will be on his record for the rest of his career. Yeah. He's never kept the team in the Premier League. Yeah. No. Because he, he's such a good manager. I, I yeah. personally, he's a man like manager. You either love him or yeah. I, I don't like the bloke. I don't like the bloke at all. Um, but he is a character. He is good for football. And he is, he, last season, I felt sorry for him. I really did. I think it would, he was treated disgustingly by the FA. And if the FA do listen to this, yeah. come and have a word with me, because I'll completely tell you what I think of you. Absolutely. They don't seem to... Managers and football players, the moment they, they say something out of line, which is not a democracy, is it? They get a fine. And you think, yeah. he's speaking, the man's passionately speaking yeah. his mind. And 
they, they, these young managers now, they're almost like robots, isn't it? They just say yeah. things they have to say. And there's no there's no real they can speak with passion anymore, you know? No, they can't, they can't, they should be allowed to let them speak. And if they want to slate an official, slate him. What's it matter? The official might actually think, Oh God, yeah, they're right there. I did screw that up. But him saying sorry at the end of the game is no bloody good. We're all open to mistakes. I know we've got VAR coming in. I don't particularly like VAR. I think yeah, everything should be done. Point. Everything should be done on human instinct. Yeah. If a, if a forward misses a penalty or whoever, you don't say, "Oh well, let's take that back again" because he should have scored. Yeah. No, he's he's missed it. That's it. Tough. But the refereeing against Cardiff last year was shambolic. They're supposed to have a standard of refereeing. They would know what they wouldn't have even refereed my football team down in my local village. They were that bad. Absolutely. I, I totally agree. Totally agree. Uh, we got um, Adam Zebra saying, What's that poison? Uh, we're drinking Brewdog Instamatic, which which I like. Very nice beer. Really good. Yeah. I think I prefer I think I prefer the guns though. I think I prefer that one. Of course. Because it's a, it's an old fashion style beer. Uh, but yeah, I do yeah. like that and I'm sure June will uh, quaff a few of them more in the future when I buy them. Absolutely. And this is this is the um what do you call it? Beer is subjective, people say, so everybody's gonna like slightly different beers. Personally, I think I like this one a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, but of course we've done the Cardiff Swansea thing, haven't we? We've gone fifty <laughs> fifth there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just in loving the weather. This is just my type of beer. Light, fluffy, drinkable, airy, lemony, grapefruity type 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 beer. And a, and a yeah. bottle as well to, to get to. Yeah. Dave, um, it's five past eight. Um, we have a lot of we missed a lot of the comments, but it, it, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I'll I'll catch on catch on. Yeah, I do. Yeah, uh, we've got a bloke here saying Nigel Clough was the last generation of the outspoken. How correct is that? Uh, yeah, Joe Gibbons, yeah. Dave, I will do a video of the van, but I'll, I'm only doing little bits of it, so we'll see. Absolutely. Uh, no, we haven't got any nibbles today. Oh, they're nuts. They were, I had the whole thing in the end. They were boring. <laughs> they were, thank you very much. <laughs> Did you eat all yours? Yeah, I did. <laughs> they were red hot. I <laughs> fell off on fire in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Thank you. Dave, if you haven't seen it, Dave, Dave sent me some beer nuts. I made a video of him, um, give him a shout out. But the nuts itself, I sat in the chair eating them thinking, poor. Oh. Yeah, you know, at the beginning, at the, the beginning, they're all right. right. You'd be like, yeah. I'm trying to get them up the, the, the bottle. <laughs> Brilliant, love it. Yeah, they were good, weren't they? So, uh, that's great. We're going to leave it on a high note. Um, Dave, it's been an absolute pleasure tonight. It has, hasn't it? I love doing this. It's great fun. Yeah. Um, we're going to do get some wilderness beers in, everybody. Dave's got it on his shelf. I'm going to pick some of the wilderness beers up. Um, when Dave's free, he'll, he'll message me. We'll make a shout-out on Instagram and YouTube for, for you guys to have a drink along with us. Um, we'll do it as soon as we can. I hope. Maybe we do it next week. If you've got time. If you've got time. Um, yeah, I think, every other week. Every week. I, I think I'm all right for next Friday. Next Friday, I think. Well, 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 let me get back to you and we'll see what we're doing. Absolutely. Stone the crows. Cheers, Dave. Cheers, mate. Have a good one. Cheers.